Hey guys, what's up? My name's Angel and welcome to my new YouTube channel. You'll have to excuse me if I look down. If I look down, it's because I'm looking at some notes that I wrote out for what I kind of wanted to cover. I'm going to go ahead and do what I've seen Bunny or Graveyard Girl do in the past and I'm setting a timer for 10 minutes so I'll just talk and I'm going to go ahead and start that now. Um, kind of just a little bit about me. I am from Michigan. It is hot AF right now and muggy and just crazy. Um, I live with a roommate who's really super cool. We have a cat. Well, she has a cat. Um, every once in a while you might see some of my friends in the videos with me, like my friend Kelsey, who's actually here with me right now. Say hi, Kelsey. Um, she'll be in some of my videos along with most likely her boyfriend. And just real quick, I want to say a big thank you to Bunny, to Ellie and Jared, and to Olivia Cara. They've all kind of just inspired me to go ahead and do this, just watching their videos whenever they post them, and just kind of helping to boost my confidence a little bit, because they all say that anybody can do this, and things like that. So I just wanted to say thank you to all of them. I don't know if they're watching or not. Um... If you have any suggestions for a good free editing software, I would appreciate it because I am, of course, new to the whole vlogging thing and I need to have me some editing software. <laughs> um, the kinds of videos that I'll be doing is probably going to depend on what type of mood I'm in that day. There might be days where I come on and just set a 10 minute timer and talk so I don't have to edit. There will probably be days that I'll do like a makeup review or a review of some new product that I got. Um, and then there will probably be days where I'll do story times or just kind of come on to vent because I've had one of those days where it's just like something's bothering me and I need to get it off my chest. And then there will be days where Kelsey and I will do crazy follow me arounds or go Pokemon hunting or something like that. Um, hmm. Let's do a short story time while my timer is still running. I'm going to give this guy an alias. His name in this video is going to be Ryan. Now I've known Ryan for a good eight years at this point and we just kind of started talking again. We went to high school together. He used to date one of my best friends. Her name is Sarah and we decided to try and date because we finally both just admitted to having feelings for each other. And after we started dating, I noticed that whenever we were together, he'd start getting calls from other girls. So I kept asking him what was going on with it. And finally, he admits to me that he is non-monogamous. Now keep in mind at this point, we've only been dating for a couple weeks. And I'm like, okay, whatever, I can try and power through this. And then it just got to the point where he kept canceling plans on me. He would be talking to his other girls where he was with me and not paying attention to me or what we were doing. And I just, I would literally end up feeling like the most ignored girl on the planet. And... I eventually, like, we had Valentine's Day plans, and he canceled them the day before. And, of course, we had included my friend and her husband in these plans. So it just finally got to the point where I'm like, okay, this has got to end. So I text him, and I'm like, we need to talk. I called him on my way home from work that night, and at the time I was working until midnight, but he was a truck driver, so I was able to call him whenever, and I knew he'd be awake. And I broke up with him, and he just did not want to accept the fact. He kept texting me saying, what's up, beautiful? Like, I'm just like, okay, you need to leave me alone. We're over. Get it through your thick skull. And finally, we just ended up stopping being friends because he literally could not take the fact that I wanted nothing to do with him. So yeah, always fun when you have guys that are like that. And then of course me being the idiotic magnet for 
weird guys and I've got Kelsey nodding over here and smiling like crazy um I found another guy on tinder who is the exact same way except he doesn't call it being non-monogamous he calls it being polyamorous and I'm just like not doing this again and of course by the time he tells me this we had already set up time to meet up for coffee just to try and get to know each other and I'm like nope not doing it see ya peace out and just cut him completely off after getting into a huge text argument with him because I am of the mind that it doesn't matter if you love more than one person that's perfectly fine but you need to only be with one of them you can go ahead and hate me for that if you want but that's how I am um what else what else I've still got four minutes left um, I grew up in a small town called Watervliet. My class when I started freshman year of high school had 144 students. When I graduated, we were down to either 88 or 89 because of pregnancies and be students being held back and transfers and dropouts. I was in the uh, weird class, to say the least. Um, do you have anything to add, Kelsey? Hi. <laughs> Your channel. Turn it around. <laughs> hmm. Well, you are going to be in some of the videos. Yeah. What else? What else? What else? I don't know. I'm at a bit of a loss. Which doesn't happen very often. Hey, now. Um... If you guys have any suggestions for types of videos that I should do, leave that in the comments below as well. Hmm. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it early because I've still got another three minutes and I've got nothing that I can think of. So thanks for watching and have a good day. Okay, bye guys.